Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a new game that came out on the Steam uh, Next Fest. It's called Ashland Dosier and I guess we should get straight into it. I know absolutely next to nothing about this game so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, we're doing some training. Ah, oh, getting ready to go to war. Sound, it's, it's, it's giving me Fallout 4 vibes with the music. <laughs> Very much Fallout 4 vibes with the music, wow. Nineteen sixty. I might need to up the resolution on this. <laughs> okay, well, well. If it isn't a hot shot boy, Lenny, I was hoping I wouldn't have to meet you so soon. But I guess God works in mysterious ways, doesn't He? So first things first. I don't like you. I don't share your views on our mission, and I most certainly don't approve of your methods. See, my cardinal rule here is to keep guilty tags off the suspects. That's the bottom line. Innocent until proven guilty. Got it? No quick backstreet justice. None. We do not shoot on sight, so stow your flashy cowboy six shooters for good. No more Wild West for you from now on. Secondly, I do not wish to recognize your mi military ranks and badges. You're still a rookie to me. A rookie that's got to earn his new stripes step by step. I don't condone what you did after the war, but that was your choice. From this very moment you will follow my book. My office means my rules. Okay, let's get down to work. See that cable? I'll bet it's worth looking at. Only important correspondence ends up on your desk, so make sure to read everything that comes in an envelope. Cool. It's a bit cluttered. Come on, mate. In the army they taught you that a rifle was your mother and sister, but now I'm declaring this desk to be a father and brother. This is where you'll be doing one big chunk of work and spending a lot of sleepless nights. Apart from chasing ugly punters around the block, we also do some reading, thinking and analysing. Hopefully you are familiar with such vocabulary. Yeah, I, 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 I do believe so. Oh look who's decided to crash our party. Mr. Scarpel here. Well, I hope that he's actually here. Because, if so, he saved us a lot of sweat since the suspect is right next, to door, next door, which is kind of unusual even for Austria. Your team could be in Linz a few hours from now. I bet you would love to meet this charming lad. Before we let any claws come out though, you better do a bit of homework on him. He can charm the paint off the wall, this guy. Just dig through his dossier and you'll know what I mean. Alright, so Austria, that, Vienna, pest control, scarpa spoiled in Linz, awaiting for the instructions, need to act fast and soon, Jimmy says hello, oh, bye bye. Right, that's his date of birth. Our place of birth is in the German Empire, codenamed Scalpel. Biography, Estelitz descends from a wealthy and well-known family of southern German industrialists. His father, Erich, used to own several factories producing motors, pistons and aircraft propellers. Following his elder... Can we... <laughs> Can we scroll? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Kiel. Okay. <laughs> nice. Now that you've learned some colourful details about this lad, we are finally ready to blow a ballast and raise the periscope. But first, we'll have to make sure that we're fishing in the right hole. Obviously, it's a no-go if there are any doubts. So you need to take a good look at the suspect before you pay the target on his back. We should have a solid confirmation prior to jumping out the trenches. My part here is done, and I will leave you in the good hands of our young prodigy, Nigel Burrows. He might seem a bit weird, that's only because he only sleeps, he sleeps for 12 hours a week. <laughs> Alrighty, hate to leave you in tears, but I really ought to bow out now. Provided you won't be doing any cowboy numbers of yours, we should get along. Howdy, Leonard. <laughs> My name's Leonard, okay. Finally, we meet in person. I know what you did right after the war, and I can't thank you enough for it. Sorry, my palm is sweaty, but you don't meet heroes every day, right? Now, 
Lily might be a tough nut to crack, but I guess we'll have to excuse her. See, her parents perished in the Co Coventry Blitz, so it's sort of personal for her. Even still, though, she's against your style of work. That's why it's better to keep the powder dry for now and see how it goes. I know you'd had some previous experience in the field, but city work is kind of different, you see. We can't just barge in guns blazing in every town, because subtlety is what we're after. Every agent counts, so please try to not have them arrested, or even worse. That said, you can now meet Betty, the love of my life. Do you like that name? It was either Betty or Ursula, so... So I guess Betty's is gone. Right. Turn to office. What is this? Don't have that yet. Okay, I guess you just click right there. So he comes from a family of industrialists. That's kind of all that I remember for that, and I hope that is <laughs> enough, really. <laughs> so May 2nd, 1960. I really wonder what. Okay. So insomnia, gastritis, and a little bit of uneurosis. That's what I get for building this computer. But let me tell you, it was definitely worth it, no matter what my mother says. <laughs> Please, excuse my excitement. The pills I might have kicked in. Don't worry about it. I don't. Before you saddle up and rush into the battle, I'd advise you to take advantage of my latest algorithm. In short, I take everything we know about the suspect so far and put it inside Betty. Ah, this is Betty. Cool. She builds a relatively precise mathematical model which predicts the suspect's behavior for a couple of steps ahead. This way you can formulate a plan for your own actions. Cool. Such a handy heads up might really save you a lot of sweat. Try it. Anyways, you are you are out in the wilderness now, so eat your spinach already and hit this button down below once you've grown some confidence. Right. Objectives, take a photo, send the photo to HQ, return to safe house, and briefing. One of our assets has possibly spotted the scalpel. It is very unusual that a criminal criminal of his scale is back in Europe. This is why we need confirmation. The suspect is staying in a hotel, meaning that he might leave anytime soon. Act quickly, but you must not be seen. Okay, confirm. Cool, so he's at a hotel. Uh, that's medicine. West. I don't know who this guy is. Um, press, police, post office, barbers, church, shop. Cool. Alright. I guess we're just. Um. I don't really know what I'm doing right <laughs> Um. Yep. Oh, hell, Betty. She's a real legend, isn't she? Is that scalpel? Now, you should, you should be ready to bear your fangs. Actually, you do have large incisors, Lily. I've got one nasty vampire here. Sorry, Leonard. Let's see if Betty is a true clairvoyant. Sometimes we talk about the future, and I don't particularly like the pictures that she shows me. Oh, well. Off we go. Before you proceed to ensnare rodents, feel pretty. F f f Hello.
Alright, so before you proceed to ensnare rodents, feel free to push any buttons and turn on or flip any switches. Don't worry about Betty, she's a tough girl, but please, be gentle. Also, every turn always ends only after you've pressed either the end turn or action button if it's active. You may move or idle, it's up to you, but a turn has to be ended manually. And one more thing, always remember to check on your task at hand to be always up to speed as your objectives are subject to eventual updating. Now get to where he is and take that picture. Right. So... Legend. Neutral mode, let an enter travel, safe mode ignores enemies, line of sight, um, danger mode, moving here is forbidden. Move button. <laughs> this is the move button. These are the move buttons. Action buttons. Okay, and turn button, the, the suspect. Cool. <laughs> How do I close this? How do I close this? Uh, turn, maybe? Okay, cool. So I can go up. Oh. When the countdown meter hits zero, the operation will restart. Be wary of it, so please don't abuse Betty too much. Of course, she can formulate an endless number of operation scenarios. She's not a frying pan, you know. Cool. Okay. Oh, you, you cheeky bugger. Oh! Okay, we're finally behind his back. Should we strangle him? Hmm, maybe later. Now hit the action button, Leonard. I hope our agents brought a long fo focused lens along with him. Cool. Half the job is done, my congratulations. Rush to the post office now. Well, I'm just gonna go like that. And then action. Oh, don't you worry, Leonard. Tomorrow we'll be reading the newspaper featuring his mug on the front page. Provided it's our guy, that is. It's time to go home now. Cool. I'm gonna go like this. Bloody hell, we lost the agent. God damn it, Betty sh couldn't have possibly predicted this. Infuriated lady. We'll swing that hatchet left and right, so you'd better man up and prepare to fa <laughs> yourself to face the consequences. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm off to the pharmacy and then off to lunch. <laughs> Please hold down the fort while I'm gone. Might not be back until midnight. Fuck. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not usually the one to pass quick judgment, but it seems that you managed to shit yourself right on the first assignment, Leonard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> not even in half an hour did you happen to lose an agent. Probably we're looking at the shortest international career since, since that of Jim Barrett's. Total incompetence. I should have hired some beatnik or even a chimp instead. That'd make more sense. On the bright side, you didn't burn down the office yet. Do me a favor on your way out, please. Grab the trash bag too, will you? <laughs> Damn son. What's got her tit in a ringer? <laughs> She's one cold beer. I'll give you that. What a vixen. Phew. She wants any help from the company, she better change that attitude. I hear you screwed up on the first task, hmm? Not the best way to start a new job, I guess, but hey, maybe we can convince her to take you for another spin. Look, my code cracker is out meeting with his divorce lawyer. Well, that's lovely. So I'm thinking that may maybe you could help me out. If my memory serves me right, you do like such stuff, don't you? Tell you what, you help and I'll talk to that harpy. Try to soothe her feathers a bit, deal? Put me on speakerphone, please. Cool. So we've got new code. Let's hope I didn't vouch for you or for nothing. I had some desk job back in the day after they robbed you out of the picture, right? Oh, you did. Okay. I still hate how it was you who took the ma main hit, but other boys suffered too. Yeah, that shitstorm hurt many good people. Right. Back to business. You've probably heard about Rockwell and his freaks from the ANP, but now it seems that we have a bunch of jokers on our hands. They call themselves Ashland, and maybe it's not a serious thing, but, it's, but still my superiors are breathing down my neck. See, they've already torched a couple of synagogues and roughed up some commies across the states, but that thing is that they but the thing is that they leave these darn riddles at every crime scene. They call themselves Ashland, and maybe it's not a serious okay. Oh, I went back to accidentally. Take a look at it, Lenny. Cool. See, that's what I'm talking about. We've already found a handful of these and managed to decipher most of them. Usually it's kind of a teenage bravado. Like the new area is coming, the world will burn, or stuff like that. I don't personally fall for that, but better safe than sorry, right? 
So you figure out what the hell it's saying, and I promise to do my best to grease down the boss of yours, and maybe she won't eject you just yet. Cool. So Anna F. F where? Oh. So that's the three options. Um. Cool. It's just up. Morning, morning. Um, Morgan. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this is too early for me to do puzzles like this. Um, do I have any other information? So London, Amsterdam, or New York. Oh, and when we get through all of them, I mean, any of them could be the main. Who is this? Yeah. Three X's. Anna F dot three X's. Twelve. Midnight or noon. Um, Warnung, I don't know what that means personally, and Morgan, I don't know what that means. Let me look it up. I'm just using it as a, uh, um, translator. And my, uh, autocorrect is helping me spell correctly, which is great. Yeah, warning means warning, and Morgan means morning. So, all right, how the fuck am I supposed to get something actually proper out of this? So Anna F, three X's, three X's. London, Amsterdam, New York. Well, three X's. I'm kind of thinking three syllables. Amsterdam, uh, or both of the, both of the other ones are two syllables. So maybe it is Amsterdam. Might be wrong. That's fine anyway. Um, and then when? Warning, morning. That's uh, that's all it tells me. Um. We have to find out the the hour. Well, kind of know the hour, but then the month and the day. Where can I get the month and the day? Uh, Ashland Anna F. Feb F Feb. Could that be it? F for February. Maybe. And then did I'm just I'm just guessing here. And then we have to guess the day. Mm. It says twenty four hour uh, is twenty four well they say morning. So I'm gonna say morning instead of midnight. And then the day. Ah. Uh, Anna? That can Anna mean anything? Yeah, it, it, could, it could be any date. It could be, it could literally be any date. From what I can see, so Ashland, Anna F, I use the F of February. A three X's, three syllables. Um, Morgan, morning, 12. Um... I 
I really don't know. I'm gonna go with three. Uh, uh, well, I guess I didn't get it right then. Did I? What? Well, <laughs> Am I proceed to deciphering? Yeah, that's my thing. So I'm guessing um, <laughs> I didn't do it right. <laughs> didn't do it right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, huh? And nine, maybe ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I guess I'm just gonna leave it here because I need to do a lecture and um, we'll pick this up later and try to solve it later. Thank you guys very much for watching, thanks for dropping in and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.